Good day guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to open and close a trade on MetaTrader 5. Just to verify, this is MetaTrader 5 and not MetaTrader 4 and this is on Android. On Apple devices, the app may look a bit different, right? But overall, it's basically the same, right? So I'm at the quotes page. On this page, this is where we can search for the currency that we want to trade, whether it's gold, US 30, US 100, right? So all you have to do is click on the plus icon and this is where you can search whether it's gold, whether it's NAS 100, or whether it's US 30, right? It's all gonna depend on your broker, but if you guys are using HFM, it's basically gonna be the same as mine, all right? Then we are going to go to the charts tab, right? This is next to the quotes at the bottom of my screen, right? Charts, right? This is where we're going to be placing our trades, right? Now, if you look carefully, right? This is gold on the one minute time frame. I'm going to show you guys how to change time frames, right? On the top of my screen, you will see the M1 sign, right? If I click on it, I'll be able to switch from M1 to M5, which is basically the five minute time frame. I can go to the 30 minute, the, the 30 minute time frame, the hourly time frame, and the weekly time frame. Right? So let me switch back to the minute time frame, right? And if I want to open a trade, the top right hand corner, right? One click trading, right? one click trading i'll tap on that and then i'll have the sell and buy option in the middle this is where i can adjust my my lot size 0 0.01 is the smallest you can trade on gold right and all i have to do is press buy give it a few seconds and there we go my buy has been placed i can zoom in and out on the chart pretty easy and now if I want to put a stop loss and a take profit, all I have to do is click on the buy. You guys can see the blue line on my screen. I just tap on it and there we go. The SL, which is stop loss and a TP. So let me set my stop loss. I'll click on the SL sign at the bottom. There we go. This is my stop loss and I can adjust it on my screen. So obviously this is a buy. So my stop loss needs to be below my point of entry right then I'll click on the blue arrow and I'll press modify there you go my stop loss is set you can see carefully my stop loss is set basically right now I want to set a take profit so all I have to do is click on my buy my buy blue line again right there we go my take profit the orange circle all I have to do is click on it right to take profit and now I can adjust it I can put it at the top I'll play I'll press the blue arrow and I'll press modify All right so now my take profit is about to get hit there we go the trade closed my take profit got hit pretty easy right pretty easy and now I can go to my trade this is where my trade would have been played out right let me take a sell again, top right corner, one click trading. I'll press a sell. Simple, right? Now I'm selling. I'll go to the trade tab at the bottom. And here we go. I can see my trade playing out. And if I go to my history, this is the trades that I've taken. As you can see, I took a buy today on a 0 0.01 lot size. The profit I made was 29. 29.43, I think this is in dollars. No, this is rands, right? This is rands. I made 29 rands. Pretty simple, right? Now, my sell, right? Let me put a stop loss and a take profit on the sell. I'll click on the red line. I'll press on the orange circle, which is a stop loss, and I can adjust my stop loss. I can click on the TP, and I can adjust my take profit. Then all I have to do is click on the blue arrow at the bottom of my screen and modify. Pretty easy, right? 
So the purpose of a stop loss and a take profit is basically if you're not going to be observing the charts, right? You want to go to sleep or you have some other responsibilities to take care of and you want to close the app, you can close the app once your stop loss and take profit is set and you can always come back to the charts, right? And a stop loss protects your funds, right? So once I'm in profits, right? As you can see, I'm currently in profits at the moment, right? All I have to do is click on a stop loss and I can bring it all the way just below my sell entry, right? And I modify it. So that way, if price does come up, my, my trade was secured. I didn't make any losses. I hit break even. And all I have to wait is, all I have to do is wait now for it to hit TP. All right? Pretty, it's pretty easy, right? So let me close this trade. All I have to do is click on the three dots next to the positions sign, right? You guys can see where I'm clicking. Close all positions. Done. Pretty, it's pretty easy, right? Now, if I want to set a buy limit or a sell limit, right? I'll go to trade here, right? There we go, right? I'll, I'll explain it again. I'll go to trade, top right hand corner, and you'll see market execution, right? A buy limit, a sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. So this is where you can choose that, right? My lot size is in the middle, 0 0.01. My stop loss I can set. And then once I have all the, once I filled in all the details, I can sell by market or buy by market, right? So basically a sell limit, right? Basically a sell limit is if price, for example, were to come here at 3325, right? I'll place a sell limit. And once price hits that sell limit, my order will be filled and the trade will be played out. So that's basically if I'm going to sleep and I'm not going to be watching the charts, I'll wait for price to hit my sell limit. Same goes for buy limit. Price is trending upwards and I want price to, and I, I'll put my stop limit at 3330.37. I'll put my buy limit there. And, why, and once price taps into the buy limit, I'll have my trade play out. It's pretty easy pretty straightforward right and that's that's basically the fundamentals of opening and closing a trade on metatrader 5